Hi, I'm Pete Maver, a local realtor here in the Clarkson, Michigan area. Today I wanted to discuss with you uh, the importance of having a buyer's agent when you're looking for a home. Now, in the state of Michigan, when you are working with a real estate agent, that, that realtor will either be representing the buyer, the seller, or both. Now, one example that I like to use to explain this is calling the number on a sign in the yard when a home is for sale. You can do this, but when you call that number, it, the call will be most likely forwarded to the listing agent who represents the seller. That, that could be fine, but the, just remember they are going to be answering their question, your questions based on from the seller's point of view. So you could go forward with this transaction and then the realtor will ask you to sign what's called a dual agency agreement. And again, that might work out okay, but again, the realtor was representing the seller prior to this, so are you really being represented fairly in this case? Probably, probably not. It can work out in some situations, but the best way to do it is have a realtor representing you throughout the entire process as your buyer's agent. They are negotiating on your behalf, they're looking out for your best interests, trying to get you the best angles, and, and in, in all aspects throughout the entire transaction all the way through to closing. So, and one of, the, one of the best parts about this is it doesn't cost you anything to have a buyer's agent working uh, on your behalf. Any commission proceeds come out of the seller's transaction. So that is uh, one very cool thing and you'll have somebody looking, uh, looking over your shoulder and having your back on things. So anyway, um, would love to answer any further questions you may have on buyer's agency. Um, and would love to earn your trust and uh, respect in order to be your buyer's agent. So if you have any questions, just give me a shout. Thank you very much.